The first one on our list is the Klein Vision Air Car. This vehicle is fascinating. First off, it's a really flying car. Yes, it can actually fly you from one destination to another. The model was created by Professor Stefan Klein. The air car combines the functionalities of a car and an aircraft, allowing it to be driven on roads and flown in the air. The air car features a sleek design with retractable wings and a rear-mounted propeller, and backed by a BMW engine and uses regular petrol. When in flight mode, the air car is not shy to reach top speed of 200 km an hour and has a flight range of 1,000 km. It can take off and land on regular airstrips, requiring a minimum runway length of at least 300 meters for this bird to fly and land. If you want to transition between driving and flying modes it takes about 3 minutes and is completely simple. The wings will fold down while on the ground, and once in flight mode, the wings unfold and the vehicle is ready to take off. The air car is fully equipped with modern avionics and safety features, including parachutes and airbags, just in case you need it. Well, you just never know. Number 2 is the Aeromobile. This is a two-seater powerhouse of a vehicle that could be driven on the road and flown in the air. This school car will transform into a flying machine with the push of a button. The wings of the Aeromobile could be folded when in driving mode and unfolded for flight mode. For this one, you would need a runway like a standard airplane and a pilot's license to operate this flyer. In airplane or flying mode, you can cruise north of 200 miles per hour. The car slash airplane seats two people and has four wheels just like a real car. It was powered by a Rotax 912 aircraft engine and had a hybrid powertrain. In terms of performance, the Aeromobile has a top speed of 160 km per hour, all the way up to 200 km per hour. Not bad at all. Next on our list, we have the PAL V Liberty. This is a unique vehicle that combines the features of a car and a gyroplane, allowing it to be both driven on the road and flown in the air. The PAL V is a European designed vehicle that is fully equipped with a flying rotor system and a pusher motor when it's ready to take to the sky. Unlike the others we've mentioned, the PAL V looks more like a motorcycle on three wheels than it does a car. The air car combines the functionalities of a car and an aircraft, allowing it to be driven on roads and flown in the air. The PAL V Liberty features a sleek and compact design, and it is powered by both a gasoline engine for driving and a flight engine for flying. Driving on the road, it operates as a three-wheeled vehicle with a top speed of 160 km per hour. But once in the air, it can reach a maximum speed of 180 km per hour and even caters for a cruising speed of 140 km per hour. If you're driving on the road and decide you prefer to have a bird's eye view, flying modes requires a conversion process that takes around 5 to 10 minutes on this vehicle. The PAL V Liberty requires a short takeoff and landing distance, making use of small air strips or helipads for vertical takeoff and landing. And the whopping price for the PAL V is around $600,000. Terrafuger is an American aerospace company that specializes in the development of innovative personal air transportation solutions. The TFX is a four-seat flying car that combines the ability to drive on roads with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. The vehicle is envisioned to feature a hybrid electric propulsion system. It would have foldable wings with tilt rotors that enable vertical flight and horizontal propulsion during forward flight. The TFX is intended to have a range of approximately 800 km and a cruising speed of around 320 km per hour, which is a powerhouse. It is designed to take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for a runway. Did you ever stop to think maybe one day Renault will become a flying car? Probably not. The AIR4 body stays similar to the original 1961 car but is entirely made of carbon fiber to keep the weight low, and is made of a body that sits within the center of four two-blade propellers. The Renault doesn't have doors like other flying cars, 
Instead users lift up the carbon fiber shell at the rear to get inside the cabin. Its maximum takeoff speed is 14 meters per second, capable of flying at heights of up to 700 meters. The AIR-4 is a futuristic concept flying car that, well actually, doesn't feel too extreme and could actually be entirely feasible one day. The AIR-4 is the first commercially available flying French car and the AIR-4 has been imagined, designed, engineered and assembled entirely in France.